got the pump disconnected there because I wired it all up to the Haltech. Ran a new wire down to the relay that I've got over on this side. And basically it will start the pump when the RPM is above 450. And I think there's a temperature set point as well. So basically, yeah, this doesn't just come on with the ignition. It, it actually starts when the engine's running. Um, so that was handy. Negatively switched relay on this side and then yeah, the pumps on that one. So got it disconnected there in case I do start the car so it doesn't pump without any cooling in it. So we're back up in the engine bay now, but what we might do next is install some fuel injectors. So we've got the fuel rail and I've got some experts 1170 cc injectors to go in so they are a very large size injector um, but that's going to leave heaps of room for the 85 and because my harness is an ev1 plug i have to wire in this plug onto the harness so it suits those so I'll fit the injectors and then I'll pull the sub harness off and modify that and then this bad boy can start to go onto there. So we've got the injectors fitted. Um, the brackets that came with mine didn't suit the really low injectors so these are 1170s but they're a very very low profile injector so they didn't fit using the brackets and you can also see this only just clears the um, inlet air temperature sensor there too so I've had to turn that so it the profile of the top of the nut was sitting flat uh, but also so there's enough room to get the plug on and off so you can actually get in there to get that to work so that was a pain nothing's ever easy with these builds when everything's different so then I come around to this side so you can see here had to modify the, the brackets to suit the shorter rails and I just plugged them in, plugged it all in, did up the brackets, put Loctite on all the bolts and then realised I haven't put the map sensor in yet. So this is the map sensor, it goes in this hole here but because of the lower profile this doesn't fit very well. So this is a two bar map sensor, you do get this sort of uh, sleeve that comes with it because there's two different size map sensors. I think the lower pressure or higher pressure map sensor has a larger port so that needs um, the larger size and this one's small so this this fits inside there which means this needs to go in here. But it's a bit loose. I did notice it's a bit loose. I did talk to Harrop and they said um, I'm going to be able to get that out now that I've said that. Yeah. Oh. There it goes. You can see how loose it is in that hole. So they did say you can put some Loctite around the outside of it and slide it in, seal it off. But the issue I found is the size of this map sensor. So it's just not going in it. There's no way that it can fit with these big brackets hanging off it, these, these ears that hang off it, so yeah obviously this, this is supposed to sit like that in there to hold it in, but that's not going to happen like that, so once again, nothing's ever easy. Spoke to Harrop and they said to trim these ears off here and it should fit, so we're going to give that a go, see if that works. Trim them off there. See if she fits all right, and then I can fit, refit this side of the fuel rail, and move on to whatever's next. All right, so a bit of an update on this map sensor. I see there I've filed down the the knobs off that side so it can be flat, and it still doesn't fit in. Still hits on there. which is annoying. Um, could probably get it flush enough to seal on that angle. 
but you can just see it doesn't look like enough meat's been taken off there for it to fit properly. The other thing is, this is supposed to be like a bracket clamp that sort of holds it on and it doesn't look like this sticks out far enough to actually fit. I'll show you what I mean. You can see that only just fits over there if it sits flush against the map sensor. It's just enough room for it. Whereas where it sits on the supercharger, it's actually set in about four or five mil. So that distance there means that this gap here isn't big enough. So even if it did fit, a tarp. Let's see what they have to say. So I'll wait and sort out this map sensor issue. One thing I might test is this throttle body. So I've just got a 92 mil throttle body that I've had for ages that I was gonna run on my car with the LS6 manifold. Um, just one of the cheap 92 mil ones that you get online. I'm just gonna see if that fits and just see how the clearance is with the belt and whatnot. And um, then I got a bit more info if I need to order something different. We'll throw that on and see how it looks. There we go. Looks really big on there. So I think the belt belt pass pretty much comes straight down to that other tensioner and then around the water pump, I think. So it's pretty close for that throttle position sensor plug. Not a lot of room in there. And then this one here, your idle motor. I'd say that that's gonna clash on there, which is a bit of a pain. I know you can, well, I assume you can spin these around because they look like you can just take them off, spin around, but then the plug's gonna come out. Well, that'll be out that way. It's not gonna look pretty, but we can always give that a go. Um, there are some different throttle bodies you can get, obviously, that don't have this bigger lump hanging out the top. It's more sort of blended in, and then obviously these idle motors are known for being very noisy too, which I've already ported the hole that it sucks the air through up there to try and reduce the amount of noise. Yes, yeah, so well, it hasn't been without issues, this thing. You can actually see up there, but yeah, that's basically where the Got a, two little heat exchangers, and obviously compressing the air, air goes in, gets compressed, which heats it up, which increase the pressure for the same fixed volume and the temperature will go up. So yeah, you'd have these little coolers on here that are cooling the air down again, and then that obviously cool it, gets heated up, and then it goes and gets cooled by the airflow as you're driving along. Yeah, not much else to it. It's the, like the bypass valve, so it's not going through the blower at idle, I believe. Just waiting to see what happens with this map sensor. Harrop are looking into it for us, but yeah, basically it's that's the angle that they want it to go on. It just doesn't look like there's enough meat taken off there for that to fit, and this certainly doesn't fit over to stop it from falling out. So, watch this space. Lucky I'm not in a rush to get this going. And lucky this is still in a position where I can drive it if I have to, if it's gonna sit in this spot for a while. Right, oh, in other news, we did have this cheap and ugly looking 92 that we threw on for clearance testing. Now we've got another one. This is a Firetech 92 mil. Um, as you can see, it's black, so it goes with the supercharger. The plugs point down more, so there's more, more sort of clearance for the cables. Yeah, I think it looks good. Um, one thing I did notice, if you hold a light up to it around the outside, it had more of a gap. So this one here, for example, if I hold this one up like that, there's no 
gaps around the edges that closes tight and as a result I had to drill a hole in there for the idle. This one did have more of a gap around it. If I take it off again I'll show you. Um, I'm not going to drill any holes in it yet. I'm going to wait and see how it goes, how the step motor goes and whatever. If I do have to start putting a hole in there to help the idle I'll do that. Yeah but for now uh, looks all right. Feels a little bit better quality. I know they're all made in the same place, but um, does feel a bit better. Apparently, they don't idle as loud either. Out of the box, different sort of hole design. Yeah, getting there slowly. So regarding the map sensor, hasn't been a lot of developments there. I basically had to make my own bracket up, which I'm not happy with. Still quite floppy around in there which means that boost is going to leak out of there and yeah, not entirely sure what I'm going to do here um, yeah I thought about maybe even if I tapped a hole tapped a thread in there and somehow found a way to like Stick another fitting in there and run it out somewhere and have it like that. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. That's a pain. There is the two bar map sensor on the Rebel LS that I'm running, so I could just plug this all together and run the internal map sensor. I also have to find a boost reference for the fuel pressure regulator too, so I'm not sure where the best place to get that from is. We see after the supercharger. Yeah, I'm not sure, maybe one of these ports. Or I just, yeah, tap into here and it becomes a map map reference. Bring it up here somewhere and it's the map reference and the fuel pressure regulator source. So something else I'd like to do is test this new throttle body on my engine, just as it is. I think it is proved that the stepper motor works, throttle position works, and it's all sort of ready to go. And also, that's that sort of gap I was talking about it's a lot different to the other 92 mil that I had so there's another one here which I have tested on my car and it, there's no gap on that one at all uh, but I did have to drill a hole in there to get it to idle so yeah this gonna got an adapter plate here came with that other cheap one you can throw the adapter plate on throw this on check if it works then we can install it on the blower and we know that it'll work right here well there she is and you can see how much more flatter it is like less uh less height to the top of the throttle body there um yeah so it's all plugged in see if she'll start So it starts and runs, um, obviously that idle stepper motor is still a little bit noisy with that hole that's in there, it's a lot better than the other cheap ones you get off eBay. Um, yeah obviously you still have to learn the throttle position sensor works, everything seems to work right, it's just the tune that has to get used to it. Right, I was going to throw the throttle body on the blower but just thought we'd have a little Tickety boo in here, even blower assembly 2300. Very cool. Peel this off and throw that throttle body on. Yep. I just went through all my bags. It would be nice if that come with a O ring that fit, but I do have some high temp gasket sealant, so I'm just gonna stick some in there and throw it on. 